Welcome back. It's uh, time for another episode. It's um, we're currently at war uh, with the Brain Confederacy. I had a lot of people saying, "Hey, man, Federation would never go to war." It's not a war, okay? It is a liberation. That is the fact, okay? I am not a puppet. Political commentary aside, um, yeah, um, in all honesty, though, I, I do feel that people always overestimate the Federation in terms of an entity when it comes to uh, the Star Trek franchise. Um, the, yeah, the Federation itself is always depicted as this utopian uh, this utopian society. However, within the confines of all the episodes, there is quite a lot of conflict going on. Uh, should we stop bombing these guys? Nah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's always quite a lot of conflict going on in there, and I always find it fascinating that people are always saying, hey, uh, this is not canon what you're doing. Have you seen Deep Space Nine? Have you seen the amount of conflict that goes on in that? It is uh, quite staggering, actually. Anyway, we got a couple of targets here. A couple of patrol frigates out uh, coming in towards uh, our bombing operation here. And uh, my fleets do not seem to give a shit at the moment, which is fine by me. I can uh, totally deal with that, so that's fine. Um, funnily enough, my Excelsior classes are weaker than my Constitution class, which is uh, kind of funny. Which is also why I'd only have one of them rather than the two... Uh, cruisers that I'm currently rocking, or battle cruisers, as they're more commonly referred to. Anyway, let's uh, merge these two fleets together and uh, let's drop them on to this bad boy over here. We'll do the same thing with these guys. All right, let's take a look. We'll reinforce these armies that got quite a lot of defense forces down there. Uh, why are you. Oh, dear. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that is not good. Uh, let's retreat these off planet for now. Wait for my support troops to come in. I had 18 armies coming in. Uh, what, what do they actually look like? They're like they're like actual like transport ships. That's cool. All right, ODSTs are being dropped. Let's uh, land the armies as well. This should be a little bit easier in terms of uh, control. Uh, what's the minus for here? Uh, they're not being intimidated by anything. All the defense forces and garrisons are being crushed, as anticipated. And we'll be, we'll be going, uh, t we'll be taking ourselves out of this war very soon. There it is, and uh, we, we are now, we have now liberated uh, the good old Breen. Uh, we'll be adding those uh, to the fold very shortly. Okay, so I got a 100% war score here. Come on. Uh, negotiates uh, the what is in the humiliates humiliates yeah that's fine by me so let's force these demands uh, unconditional only the main attacker perfect 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 we got influence out of that and uh, the Zindi managed to get a leader out of it I got a bunch of influence which I desperately needed I need a computer scientist right now though never mind I got a genius a Bolian genius even. Which is great. Uh, the Tholian Assembly has opened up their doors to us. Let's take a look here at the Tholians. Uh, they are pathetic in every way, shape, or form. Um, where are they? Oh, they're on, over here. They only have one planet, though, so it's not really a big problem. Uh, the Klingons have decided to build a colony right on the edge of our territory. This is uncool. And uh, this is not something that I am particularly happy with, which is why I'm by building a uh, influence outpost over here. Uh, we should be on good terms. Thank you. Uh, Klingon Empire, beneficial pacts, military junta, and uh, honor-bound warriors. Don't know what leader they have, though. Anyway, this one's done. Uh, it's managed to engage them before they became a problem. Uh, energy is no longer an issue, so let's uh, continue that. Food plus 10%. In the past, we did have quite a lot of issues. Uh, let's go with the massive glacial remover in this. And uh, overall, though, I think uh, we're in a pretty good position here within the confines of our uh, little... Well, I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say empire, but we all know I was gonna say empire. Let's be honest about this, right? Um, I don't want to integrate the Nausicans just yet. Uh, I could release them. Uh, that's potentially an option. 
the USS Grissom. Uh, you can go and patrol. The same for the Kelvin. Actually, we're going to send the Kelvin home to upgrade. As uh, we can should be able to add a couple new warp drives on that bad boy. Uh, the Grissom is, I think, a, is it an Orbif class? Hold on, let's take a look here. Whoa, where are you going? Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah, it's an Orbif class, so that's fine by me. Okay, that's all fine. Mm -hmm. Stuff's being upgraded. Ah, we can remove kelp. That is excellent. Let's remove all of this kelp. And uh, we currently cannot afford because of our energy shortage, which is fine for the moment. Um, we're also in the process of integrating these guys into the Federation. It's a Tellarite, so... Signal Jammer being added. Research alternatives plus one. Thank you, Dr. Zimmerman. It's a good thing you I have you there. Uh, what does this do? Chance to invade. Anomaly research speed. Damn. Survey speed plus 20%. I kind of do want that. The Stellar Cartography Lab. How long does that take? 21 months. This one takes 13 months. So go with the 13 months first. But having the Stellar Cartography Lab onto our sign ships is going to help quite a lot. Uh, what's this? Trellium D. I already got quite a lot of that. And yes, I can hear you. I can hear you laugh. <laughs> he said the D. Yes, indeed I did. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious, isn't it? Uh, ooh, there's... Ooh, these are the mining. This is the mining stuff down in here. We may be able to get a decent amount of research out of this. Uh, 2K. Ah, let's uh, review the Tellarite technocracy ascension process. Let's go for some medium negotiations. We have the research for that, and uh, let's see how that's going to pan out. Let's move our fleet into here, and uh, let's take it from there. How is our fleet right now? We can afford a decent amount of fleet power at the moment. What the hell? Why is this not being occupied at the moment? Okay, we've got a pop moving in. So... Destroyer, Enterprise, Class, that's just dumb. Constitution Class, 17 fleet power. Should be enough. Uh, the Excelsior. Yeah, this one is just better in every way, shape, or form. Uh, maintenance is even lower, so let's just build this. Black Ops. A covert intelligence group will assist you in uncovering hidden and uh, hidden and ancient technology. Black op activities are those cover are those covert operations that require, a ver at the very least, plausible deni uh, plausible deniability when the government cannot be see uh, taken actions that nevertheless need to be taken. Section thirty one. Anybody? Uh, advanced battle cruiser prototype geothermal. Uh, I don't know what this does. It doesn't have a thing on it. It's work in progress. Let's go for uh, how long is this going to take? 28 months for the next battle cruiser design. Or antimatter explosives, antimatter mines. Let's go for the next battle cruiser design and we'll deal with the other stuff later. I can uh, occupy two more systems at the moment, which is good. Uh, let's take a look. Wasn't I removing some stuff here from Alpha Centauri? Yes, I was. What do we got? A peace offer by the Cardassian Union to the Babjordan Republic. Uh, the Bajoran Did the Kardashian Union just lose a bunch of stuff? Uh, the Trill Covent. Independence by the Tamarian Unity. The Bajorans. Let's order an, offer them association status. And they're currently at war with the Sheliak. Sheliak are kind of a weird bunch. Yes. Uh, wow, that's aggressive. Yeah, they're a bit of a weird bunch because they only really appeared in one episode of The Next Generation, and they were kind of being out-politics by, uh, by Picard in that one. I think it was Riker as well, so... Everybody always forgets about Riker. He's the best character in the entire series! Yes, I do mean that. Uh, Terra Vega was the one with all the... Which one was the one with all the minerals on it? It was Alpha Centauri, wasn't it? Yeah, we're gonna put mineral... We're gonna put mineral plants on all of this stuff. Currently growing... Three pops, I see. Yeah, so we do need some more food anyway. But we're going to build some mining stations on here. Slave processing center. Yeah, because we definitely need that. Okay, let's get that rolling. Uh, gem. That's all, that's all Vulcans. Uh, this world over here. Let's go and get this sorted. What's this? A coalition invitation. The Klingon Empire and the Green, Con Green Confederacy. Interesting. So the Breen Confederacy and the Klingon Empire are now allies with each other. Oh, good lord. These models are huge. Too bad they're completely outclassed, though. Ancient Destroyer. Uh, they're not going to last particularly long. 
So we'll leave that as is. Uh, the Cardassian Union have closed their border to us. One thing that I... That's currently not part of this uh, this mod is the ability of creating any sort of neutral zones or anything like that, which is a shame. Stone Age primitives doesn't really matter. Uh, this is physics and energy output, isn't it? Yeah, let's build some engineering plants on there and said, oh, and of course the social social plants. How could we forget? Thea, upgrade the building. The reassembled ship shelter is amazing. Uh, that cannot be understated. How good it is. And uh, all these other tiles. How are we doing food here? Two food. So let's uh, clear this one when we can in order to build some more food supply there. Uh, funnily enough, due to the migration treaties that we have, all of, our uh, all of our population tiles are pretty much being filled up. That is a very surprising little... Ex Ooh, Batharian. Or, well, not Batharian. Pergium, as it's called in uh, this uh, particular mod. And Greenland, of course. How could we forget? So we'll build a bunch of energy on here. Uh, how is this fight going? It's all right. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to show you something cool. Uh huh. But, uh. Ain't that cool? Here, I can do it even again. Navigation arrows. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. We'll do that one. And we'll follow up with this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Now you know the secret of how I make all my awesome videos. Fair enough. Let's uh, turn these two back on before uh, it becomes completely and utterly unworkable to actually see what the hell. Um, this fight... Is tighter than I thought it would be. How's my fleet? This battle cruiser is not doing well. Even though they're splitting firepower, how much firepower I still got in there? Three point seven. I did lose a ship, but we are destroying their uh, ancient mining drones quite rapidly, so we will win this fight. The Battle of uh, Zigawaga. Uh, what did we lose? Oh, Jesus. I lost one battle cruiser and two destroyers. That is more than I had accounted for. Let's send these guys home. Two battle cruiser, uh, two destroyers and one battle cruiser. Um, let's just build two automatically best ones, and then I'll build a battle cruiser with this one as well, just to top things up a little bit. Uh, let's slow things down. Uh, space restaurant. Alien migration attraction. Minus two food. It's an interesting idea. Let's go with that. How are we doing here in the... Oh, okay. Nobody's got jobs. Oh, because all the mining stuff that's going on in here. Uh, sadly enough, I cannot really do all that much with that. But the mining on this planet is going to be out of this world. And uh, how are we doing food here as well? Plus three. Um, I think... Yeah, we need one more food tile. Uh, we'll adjust that later on in terms of how uh, the balancing works. But overall, I think we're pretty decent at the moment. Uh, we're uh, about 120 years in. We're slightly behind on our tech, especially in the physics department. Uh, physics really need to be propped up. This is a lush world, isn't it? Yeah. So let's just uh, get all of this stuff out of the way. We are getting a significant amount of resources, though. Did I add another constitution class to this fleet? Did I lose my constitution? No, I know. I, I still got one of my NX classes. The Dublin. I lost the Enterprise. I still got the USS Hannibal, which is the older Excelsior class. Which is cool, I guess. Migration Treaty by the Bajorans. Um, actually, that's a good point. Let's demand vassalization <laughs> to the Trill Covenant. Uh, I could have I could have just invited the, the coalition, but nobody would have accepted that anyway. So the Trill are now part of the alliance on their own free will. I may say uh, they uh, they've done it by themselves. I'm I'm not particularly fussed about that. Uh, migration treaty, free pop migration is not allowed by the Trill. Those up uh, those those absolute oppressors, those terrible people. Uh, for some reason, there's a human in, in charge of the Ferengi. Um, those lobes are not big enough, girl. 
That's uh, not going to work. Wow. What's this, an Excelsior? No, it's a Constitution. Look at this. The Constitution class is twice as strong as the Excelsior. No, that's the Enterprise. I thought I... Hold on, let's have a look here. Oh, you're in warp. Never mind. Uh, new research alternatives. Assist research, great. Absolutely. Uh, I actually kind of need it. Optical core, tracking, phaser turrets, kinetic weapon damage. Um, let's go for the assist research here because we're kind of starting to lack behind in terms of uh, some of our stuff. That's our alliance fleet. Not entirely sure where they're up to, but let's go and reinforce them anyway. We got aggressive and fleet logistician on that, so that's nice. So uh, let's go and uh, support our fleet here. The Kardashian and, Re and the, the Serene Denublian Confederacy. Serene Denublian Confederacy. Uh, alrighty then. Uh, can I not demand vasalization? Yeah. Substance abuser for one of my researchers. What the hell is this? The Moral States. Morai States. Oh, you look cool. You have pink hair. Ah, Federation Council. Good. Uh, Register review the terror rights. It's 40% integration, so let's uh, move on. Let's uh, continue integrating them. Uh, we want to uh, add the Denoblians. Yeah, that's fine by me. Let's add them. We're going to integrate them into the Federation later on. Uh, they're in the middle of territory anyway, so. Okay, let's reinforce this fleet. And be done with it. Should I declare the Cardassians as my rival? Uh, declare a rivalry. They don't like us at all. Uh, it does in add additional influence, which we need to space restaurant. Nice. Uh, naval capacity. Yep, let's go with that. Now was this uh, little party going? Pretty decent, actually, surprisingly enough. Wow, are those attack ships? Oh, God, they're going after my single Constitution class? Oh, it doesn't really matter because we destroyed the mining base. Uh, wow, this system is apparently now richer in minerals. We've received reports that Mineral Processing Hub observed in Sierra has been destroyed. Its significant stores and raw processing materials were jettisoned and made, the planet, made planet fall on 8FV728 in the local asteroid belt. Okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, survey the system then. See if we can get anything out of it. Because the processing platform, I can remember, actually quite good. Uh, there's a Class M Alpine over here. Uh, I'd rather send a Frontier Outpost in here to see if we can get any additional resources. Because there's a lot of minerals that we can get out of that, which is something I do want. In the meantime, let's send the, the first fleet back home to Earth. And uh, we should be able to upgrade some of our buildings once again, just for the energy bonuses. Uh, we're currently at 60% energy. That is a not-to-be-trivaled with amount. Okay, this is all being done. Notice how I'm, by the way, I'm currently upgrading everything uh, as much as I can before I start removing all the tile blockers. That's mainly because I want to keep my population under control. The more population I have, the more expensive science is going to be. And I kind of want to avoid that as much as possible. This planet is lacking minerals. Uh, how much is it here? Plus three. How many pops are coming here? Enough. So let's build a... Uh, let's build a hydro... Oh, uh, this gardens produce food? Let's do it. And uh, energy is kind of the play of the game here. So we'll build an energy hub here and some more power plants and some science stations. Okay, Pajem is being sorted out. More science, and that's all the resources I can spend for this uh, for this month. Killed the home base. That is excellent. And uh, I'm really curious to see what we're going to get out of this. I have actually have not really played around with any of the... Um, non uh, Leviathans uh, Leviathans basically I know that they're um, like the crystal complex and uh, some of these guys they actually drop a bunch of things and even the pirates like they have uh, booty which is kind of cool there's a food shortage here well the Romulans are once again at war with the Flaxians let's upgrade all the food here before it becomes a problem uh, you should probably be moving in the here how bad is it minus one 
Uh, all the food tiles are being covered right now. We have an energy plant here, so let's build a power hub. And uh, I think that is... Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's your problem right there. Cool. So nobody was actually occupying the proper buildings. Naval capacity, plus 25. That's great. Ship upgrade, minus, 20, minus 30%. That's actually really good, considering the really expensive ships we're rocking at the moment, uh, which we want to avoid. Let's uh, get both fleets combined. Uh, after playing 100 years, having uh, almost 6,000 fleet power is actually quite good. So uh, I do want to keep an eye on that as much as possible. What the hell is this? Uh, that's a Falcons. Okay. As, uh, we're finally upgrading all of this stuff. And in the meantime... Um, Oh, this station over here, you do not have a border control, do you? Space restaurant. Oh, I see. Oh, that is cool. Uh, but I want to build a border control here just so I can get a little bit more control. An anomaly as well, 12%. I haven't seen an anomaly in a while. Maybe we're going to get something cool out of it. That'd be nice. You know, getting something cool. Uh, this station up in here does not have a border control. Uh, we do need that. We need a little bit more influence for that, though. Let's keep an eye on this. Maybe we can get a cool uh, and a cool event. Uh, I can go for first contact here. That should give me a bunch of influence. Maybe enough influence to build uh, the border control there. Uh, one month, so it should be done very shortly. Where's Vega in? Okay, what do we get? 43. Defend Dunmar states. A military republic and are slaving despots. Uh, our citizens greet you in peace. I guess. But they are saving. Oh, God. Really? Swirling shadows? So we get plus six. Well, I guess the system just turned into something pretty decent. Because we're about to research, uh, survey this, this here planet. Or asteroid. 16?! Holy shit! Um, yeah, um, Mike, holy, what the hell? Uh, Orinoco, go and claim that stuff. 16. Damn. Also, when did I all of a sudden get a tropical planet here? I did not know I had that. Uh, but we need to spend that money on a border control first anyway, so. Uh, border control. Didn't I have one here already? No, I did not. Okay, and border control. Perfect. But yeah, that's a lot of resources there, all of a sudden, coming completely out of nowhere. 16, though. That is a lot of money. Like, this positioning, for, this position is not optimal for a, for a station, and eventually the borders of the actual colonies will grow uh, to the point where I really don't need this. But still, the gem is relatively inside of my territory, but I do want to get a border control here, and I can build one next month. Which is good, because then we can suppress the Klingons over here. There we go. All right. Sys Research, finally. Uh, tractor Beam. Hardener Shield, Signature Damper. Uh, this is Power Generation. Plus 300. Wow. I do need that. Some of my ships are still running on nuclear power, I think. Yeah. Which is not the greatest. Oh, this patrol class does look kind of sexy. I'm not going to lie. This Miranda is kind of nice. That's a constitution. Let's max this out. Yeah, and we'll do the same. We'll do the same for the uh, Excelsior class. Uh, that should be a little bit better. But we should have a little bit more power coming out now soon. Um, photon torpedo. <coughs> okay. Let's filter by slot instead then. Hmm, spatial torpedo. Phasers, Type 3, Pulse Phasers, Phaser Cannon. Uh, what about this stuff? Emergency Bulkheads, Field Generator. Hmm. Okay. Auxiliary Power Bank. Weapon Rate, plus 13. Fire Rate, minus... It's a decent, decent offset there. Anyway, uh, we made some strides this episode. We uh, we defeated the Brain. We took their, uh, their capital world to... Well, at least as Azadi Prime and Azindi took their capital world. As they should have, because the brain was completely in their territory, which is something that should never happen. Uh, 
And uh, the Klingons have decided to build a little bit of uh, a little, little outpost over here, which I am not too happy with, and we're currently in the process of uh, surrounding that as much as possible. Uh, what the hell is this? Nausicans have built two stations within my territory. All right, let's uh, integrate the uh, Tellarites and be done with this. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.